Welcome to your lesson in the creature, also known as scorpion. So this is the pose that we're attempting to do, which I know is a challenge for a lot of us. And it does have a few requirements. And those requirements are hip mobility, shoulder mobility, and back flexibility. So I'm demonstrating a few stretching movements. You can practice to open up all of those areas. So rolling from straddle to middle split, and then stretching our back. The closer you can keep your body towards the floor, especially through that middle split, the more successful your creature shape will be. Next, stretching the front of our shoulders. So I call this our prone shoulder stretch, doing it with a bent arm at a 90 degree angle. And then also the same thing with a straight arm and rolling back. They stretch just a slightly different part of your shoulder area. Okay, obviously do that on both sides. And then followed by our bridge pose. So lifting the hips up into our bridge, you can push forward a little more to the shoulder area than normal to deepen the stretch. Just make sure you do not turn your feet out in this because it can put a lot of pressure on your lower back. Keep those feet parallel. Okay, here we go with our creature. So I like to call this trick creature, but I have heard it called many, many other names. I just think it looks like a little creature once you're in the position. So starting with our egg beater wraps, finding the center and passing the shoulders through. Now I keep my feet pressing together. I reach down for the tails. I like to do an additional grip roll. You can simply grab, that works as well. So I'm gonna roll my grip. Legs go directly to the side in a straddle and then I use my arms to pull my feet over my head. If the fabric slide, you bend your knees on the outside of the pole in. So what I mean slide, if you feel them sliding down your thighs. To get out, you can do a stag position and then unwrap the legs. Okay, so that's our more modified version of this. The true version is what I first demoed, straight legs. So we're gonna pass the shoulders through. Find the tail, slide your hands down. I give myself about a foot and a half of slack. Now I use my arms to pull my legs over my head and then I bend the knees. Okay, and this time to get out, we're gonna get out what I call the backwards way. So we sit up and then reach up and underneath the knees and it's like a skin the cat motion to get out. Bring the shoulders out and then you can step in for splits if you wanna continue on to something else. All right, so I know that was a lot of information relatively quickly, so we will do it again in slow motion. Egg beater wraps to start. So when I do my egg beaters, I bend my knees, I do my best to bring my heels to my tush, I go back side, back feet together. Keep your feet pressing together. Pay attention that you do not get the fabrics twisted underneath your feet, sometimes that happens. So make sure you can easily separate the fabrics. Now I slide my hands down. The more slack you give yourself, the more likely it is you will have to bend the knees because the fabric is slipping down on your thigh. So the fabric stays just around my upper thigh and I roll my shoulders and I roll my hips over. So that's the shoulder and hip mobility. And when I pull my feet down, that's more the back flexibility part. And then to get out, you bend your knees. Okay, and then there's a lot of pretty more bendy poses there you can do. But for now, we're just gonna sit up, reach up and underneath the knee and underneath the knee, and then we pike back, squeeze your feet and your legs together because you do not wanna lose those wraps in your feet, especially when you're bringing your shoulders out. All right, and then to get out, just simply unwind the legs, or of course you can step into your splits like I showed before. Okay, so I know this is a tricky skill, but keep at it. Do those conditioning, stretchy things I showed in the beginning, and you will be a creature soon enough. Thanks, guys.